All right, what's going on, y'all? So here is some gameplay with the crossbow, or as I like to call it, the beast bow. Now, this is my favorite gun, period. I pretty much play every match with the crossbow now, all right? That's, that's my go-to weapon for tactical reasons. For one thing, it downs in two hits. You know, there are several other weapons in the game that down in two hits. Nothing necessarily special about that, but it has good damage. The second thing is it's the only weapon in the game that causes bleed effect. Uh, when you hit somebody with the crossbow, their health will start deteriorating slowly. Uh, the bleed effect, you know, says it in its name. It's obvious. Um, and by the way, I got into this game late, but, you know, of course I'm a beast, so I managed to catch up and carry the team. Um, so, yeah. Now, the tactical advan advantage that bleed the bleed effect with this gives you is, for one, like I said, you hit somebody with it, it pretty much takes out half or more of their life bar, so they're already weak. Um, and then the bleed effect starts taking down their, uh, you know, health slowly. Now, the effect, the uh, advantage that the bleed gives you is that it forces the person bleeding it almost guarantees that they're gonna back off and try to heal themselves. So it's almost like you know, you, you have an advantage over them now because they have to heal or bleed out. So all, what I figured out is as soon as you hit somebody with the uh, crossbow, the best thing to do is apply pressure because they either have to fight back and most of them will try to back off and heal. And obviously while they're healing, you could just take advantage of that, rush them and shoot them. On top of that, because I've been hit by a, by a crossbow, it creates this, you know, bloody effect on your screen that's pretty, uh, pretty distracting. Now on top of that, I've found an amazing combination with this one uh, skill and the crossbow and it works amazing. I, I kind of don't want to tell y'all what it is. It's like the perfect combination. It's like the crossbow and this skill was made to be together. But I didn't use it in this video because this is one of my first times using the crossbow. So you're not gonna see it in uh, in this. Oh, and I'm using the I think I'm, yeah I'm using the shotgun in this in this video because I'm I'm gonna switch to it after I die. Um, but yeah, I was using the shotgun in this video because I think I forgot to choose the crossbow um, before the game started. Well, I got in late, so I didn't get to choose. Um, and I needed to get some points to buy the, sh the crossbow anyway. But with the new combination of skill and uh, and the crossbow, I'm telling you, it's amazing. For one, it takes care of the worry of uh, running out of parts um, to buy the crossbow and to keep buying arrows for it. And I wish I had the footage. I forgot to record it. I would show all of you it. This gives you the ability to buy not only the crossbow with, but with, but any purchase weapon. With this ability, with this skill I had on, I had no kills, no kills, people. But no kills, no deaths. It was damn near the beginning of the game, and I already had like six, seven hundred points, six hundred, seven hundred parts with no kills. Beginning of the game, not lying to you. So the the crossbow is like four something to buy. The, the arrows after it, you know, is it the same price? I don't know. I don't remember. I really don't look at that stuff. I just end up buying it. I don't have it memorized. But this perk, the combination just gives you the ability to, you know, have plenty of parts to keep buying the crossbow. And also, this kind of gives it away, but it kind of doesn't. Um, because there's there's two, there's really two uh, skills that, that have a great combination with the crossbow. But there's one that does the same thing as the other one, but does more. So, yeah, there's one that does the same thing, but it gives you parts for doing that thing. I'm not going to give it away. I'm going to have to figure it out. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's not a default skill. You do have to buy it. So, pretty much, if you used, uh, I forgot what it's called. Um, I'll give you one of the perks, one of the skills. Uh, I, th I believe it's the, the it's the it's the skill that allows you to mark somebody and makes makes them stay marked longer. Here's why that skill goes perfect. Besides the other one that I won't tell you about, here's why it goes perfect with 
the uh, with the crossbow because as I said the crossbow has a bleed effect now if you hit somebody with the crossbow and you tag them you and let's say you're not at a, at a at, a, at an advantage where you can actually see them healing you're not sure if they're healing but they're bleeding so they're probably healing but you're not sure so if you tag them while you shoot them with the crossbow they'll bleed and then you'll be able to see them healing uh through the wall because you've already tagged them so you'll know that they're healing and you'll know the opportune moment to take advantage of it that's why it goes so well with the crossbow it works amazing try it out you'll know what i'm talking about um the other one like i said there's one other perk that goes even better with that and it's just amazing it, it's it i feel like it's a, honestly a broken combination i think if more people learn about it if people figure it out it, it's gonna be so broken it's, it's gonna be so bad with the amount of people like it, it's it's almost like an I feel like it's it's not an exploit, but it's cheap. It, it's real cheap. So I'm not trying to spread, you know, the, the cheapness. All I'm saying is figure it out. Um, it's it's a beast combination. It, it's beast. Like I discovered, I thought about it, and then I tried it out, and I discovered it. I'm like, yo, this is amazing. It's amazing. You you'll probably see me use it in a future video, you know, or in a live stream or something like that. But yeah, the combination of it is amazing. Um, yeah, the crossbow is my go-to weapon, man. The crossbow is beast. I just love the bleed effect. I love the bleed effect. It, it's accurate. It's it's powerful. Um, it's silent. I mean, it, the, the gun the gun is the gun is too strong. It's it's too strong. Too much water. It's silent. It's it, it's powerful. It's accurate. It's pretty fast. I would say it's pretty. It's it's pretty fast. The reload time is pretty short. I would say, it, it's it's a real good gun, and it's pretty cheap, honestly, compared to the other purchase weapons. It's pretty cheap. So it's just, yeah, it's it's that good. And this was an interrogation match that I did because I wanted to have enough time to exhibit the crossbow enough. So that's why I chose to do interrogation. Um. yeah yeah man um i usually i would say if you're gonna use the uh crossbow don't use obviously don't use a primary weapon um at least i wouldn't i don't you when i when i have loadouts with prime with uh purchase weapons in them i don't put primary weapons because that's, that's a waste of uh you know that's a waste of a slot and waste of uh points you could be using on uh skills i would just say use a uh I'm sorry, I got caught up watching my own gameplay. I would say uh, use... Um, I'm so good. I'm beast at this game. What was I saying? Oh yeah, use a pistol. Just use a pistol. The in Use the enforcer because I would say you need something. Oh uh, yeah, just bleed. Go bleed out. Go bleed out somewhere. And he bleeds out. Um, yeah, use. I would say use the enforcer because you need something to kind of act like a quick assault rifle and the enforcer has a very fast uh, fire rate if you could make the uh, revolver work sure but I think the enforcer goes better with it or the um, or the uh, burst rifle which I actually haven't tried yet but people say it's inaccurate but I don't know I've seen people beast with it so I still need to try it out it's it just there's just so many like tactical and like psychological advance uh, advantages that come with using the crossbow bow it's 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 a defensive weapon too because i caught that guy in the head because if somebody is attacking you um you know you hit them with the crossbow they're starting to bleed out they they're probably gonna back off there's just so many advantages advantages to using and i'm telling you it's best thing ever best weapon ever Weapon of the year. So of course I come in and carry this team. You know nothing new to see here. Uh, we get the interrogations and uh, I don't remember how this ends. I really don't remember.
but I know I pro I'm probably the one who unlocks it or, you know, I guide my team to victory. You know how I do. And the thing about it is, it ha and, and the distance, I didn't even mention the range, it pretty much has, it's better than the bow because you don't have to necessarily you know, pull it all the way back. It makes the bow completely obsolete. Obsolete. Um, you don't have to pull it all the way back and uh, you don't have to worry about the, tra the trajectory necessarily because it shoots in a straight path. Um, you do have to, if someone's far away, you do have to time it. It's not like a laser where if someone's running and you aim exactly where the dude is at it's gonna hit them nah it's not a freaking laser like you know call of duty weapons who have that which have no bullet drop or you know bullet physics or anything like that it's still an arrow so you still gotta like time it correctly and stuff so So I just use it. That's something people underutilize. Smoke is supposed to be also, smoke can also be used as cover, especially during times like this. I've won many interrogation matches because of smoke covering my, my uh, you know, covering me while I'm opening the safe. Many people don't realize that. So yeah, that's it, y'all. That's it. Maybe I'll reveal the combination to you. Nah, I won't. I'm lying. I'm lying. 